I'm going to talk about grips, and in particular, the effect that grips can have on your ball striking, particularly direction-wise. Now, there's two things you need to keep in mind when you're looking at grips. A, grips can come with a reminder or a little rib on the bottom of the grip, or they can come round. And that's really a personal preference, but for me, what I like, I use the Golf Pride Z Grip. And you see this red stripe running right down the center. That's a ridge that runs right down the spine of the grip. And for me, I like to take that ridge or that reminder, and I, if the six o'clock is on the bottom of the grip, I like to set it at 6.30. That gives me a stronger grip and lets me draw the ball easier. If you tend to overdraw the ball, then you might want to take that ridge and put it at 5.30, which would give you a slightly weaker grip, which would promote a fade. Again, that's personal preference. Uh, round grips, that's pretty much a standard of most clubs, unless you specify when you order clubs that you want a reminder, they're gonna come round. And that's fine too, but for me personally, it just made it hard to get my hands in the club the same way every single time. The second thing you wanna look at is grip size, whether you wanna go standard, undersize, or oversize. And typically speaking, uh, if you have a grip that's too small for you, that's gonna cause you to hook the ball, if you have a grip that's too large for you, that's going to tend to make you fade the ball. So bottom line is you need to make a trip to your local club fitter, uh, go to a local golf store, try different grips, and I'm, you'd be surprised the difference it can make in your ball striking, but give the grips a chance to help your golf game.